Jesus. Wait a second. Uh, you moved to Kentucky? <laughs> Inside. Yep. Still left. You're up top. Three wide. All right. Hopefully we can get out of this right guy's there. way. Oh, a little bit of contact Three already. Wide. And just try to stay out of the shit. Zero X at least, but come on, bro. Focus on the cars in front of you. Yeah, going by, going by. Car inside. Still left, still left. Oh, see. Slow car inside. Check up, check up, check up. Car inside. Clear outside. Too wide. Outside. Clear outside. Ho ho ho! I got through that without any. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my God, dude. Not crazy, no. Oh man, I thought for sure we were gonna get dinged by one of those spinning cars. Jesus. <laughs> I'm through it, Harry. <laughs> These guys are probably damaged down here, so we can get around them and just get the hell out of here, man. All right. <sighs> uh, that's also another reason why starting in the back is kind of sketchy, too, because that's the kind of shit that can happen. Well, now that the heart rate has officially jumped up a little bit, let's uh, let's try to bring her on down. And just try to cook some laps around here, not some tires. Oh, look at all people just dropping. How many freebies do you think we got out of that? I guess we'll find out here when we go across the line. All right, so P12. I think where did we start? Like 20th? Nah, 20th is dead last. I think we might pick about six spots off of that. Oh, we got another one down here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You stay down there. Stay down there. It's your broken shit. Oh, we got him to drive right into him. Target fixation is a thing. If you've ridden motorcycles ever, it's one of the things they teach you about. Well, someone got a nice nice driving in. Yeah. We're going to have to watch that replay for sure. That's kind of this. That's why I'm trying to get this SR, man. It's so hard sometimes to get your SR and get the hell out of some of these series. Or just to get licensed. You can always come back. The series is actually really fun when you're actually racing it. Um, but yeah, just staying out of the shit can be a little difficult sometimes, as you just saw. Laid back, not doing anything. And they're just. People are flying in there at full speed. They're not checking up. And they're just crashing into other cars and scattering everywhere. And it's like, dude. Why? Chill. Just chill. Ooh, a little loose there. The leader just did us 32.21. See this dude behind us. If he starts catching us, then uh, we'll let him by. Cause there's like nobody behind him, and then we can just really run into uh, no man's land. And just kind of keep the tires underneath us, and just get this SR bag and get out of here, man. If we do get the C license today, I will probably try to do one truck. Depends on what the hell the trucks are, though. Um, and then try to do maybe one of those, and then uh, yeah, see where we're at. Then all of us can start doing our rookie stuff together, man. The low IR oval boys can get together and You're pulling away from the know how to do this. I think that league will be pretty solid if we can do that because, uh, you know, we can all get together and suck at the back. The only problem is it's hard for you guys that are not on the West Coast. 7.30 p.m. PT. That's late for everybody else, man. I know the East Coasters are like, nope. And I think, Brandon, you're central time maybe or you're on that like weird time where it's like half a state central half a state eastern or something like that you're losing on the car in front yeah i don't yeah. care he just hit the wall too so i'm cool racing with that dude
check that in just a second. Yeah, I'm going to build a layout for ovals where I'm going to switch my um, chat to like the different corners so I can see it. You're always looking this way. You're never really looking that way, right? So, oh, oh, that was almost the wall. See what happened? I looked at my chat and I went right to the wall, man. Mm, that was close. But you are Eastern, though. Okay. So, yeah, that's a 10.30 p.m. start for you. I feel like that's a that's kind of a no thank you because it's an hour and some change. I mean, unless you're kind of, you know, laid out. I don't know how your life is. Sometimes I'm laid out, but right now I'm unemployed, so my hours are always late. Even if I, trust me, one thing you'll have with a little kid, doesn't matter how late you go to bed or how late they go to bed, 6 a.m., you're up. It's on Tuesdays, so this would also be like right before the uh, casual sim racers the next day. That's where it's like, mm, mm. Tuesday, I'm usually kind of doing some practice for that race because I may not get a lot of time, so I don't know. Yeah, there's a Friday one as well that they run. That's the Gen 4 car, which would be a little trickier Richard, to drive. Man, you got the inside. Um, it's basically this ARCA car with a whole bunch more horsepower. I think with Arca you have like 450 and that thing's like 800. Christian was saying you can be fourth gear going down the straight and spin them up. The leader just did us 32.31. I mean, that's a whole lot of, oh fuck, you know? So you gotta be real good on that throttle. Over a quarter of the way done to this SR bag. Come on, let's keep it together. Oh, something else I've been noticing. Can one of you send a message and then count how long it takes from the time you send it on Twitch to the time that it appears on my screen? Because I know I get some huge delays in between what shows there. We're perfectly positioned right now. Actually, I don't even think we'll take that. Oh no, it's a one point. We'll take that bad of a hit on SR or anything like that too. Oh, uh oh. What did we, did he get his wheel? Let's see. Yes, sir. He got his wheel. Good. He got his stuff on a Friday. He'll be busy with that all day. RSR, RSR replicas are the shit. I've got the non-official. I got this precision sim engineering. It's an RSR replica, though. But it doesn't say push on it. Like the push, guys. All very good quality stuff. You're pulling away from the car behind. I love my 
fucking Why? wheel too. It feels so nice. Like the perfect size for me and everything. The leader just did a 32. I can tell I love it because I have not looked at another wheel. I've looked at other wheels that come through like they're new. I'm like, oh, it looks cool. But I'm like, I never had the ink like, man, I really want that. It's like, nah. Man, at this point, it's just about kind of keeping the computer going. I don't know if I have another upgrade in me right now. I mean, this thing's in a really good place. Anything beyond this would be crazy. Um, or just like add-ons, like a handbrake if I ever want to do rally racing or something like that. Nine to ten seconds is not too bad. I, it was as high as 20 to 30 at one time. Um, but not bad though. I've seen, you know, I think you, typical like the big guys, they get like a, within like five seconds or under, which would be nice to get around about that kind of communication level. So we'll see. Over halfway. Car feels good. We're way far away anyway behind us. Oh, the leader's the next car behind us. So we definitely don't want to lose too much ground because then you start letting people by, it gets sketchy there too. So we're going to down low. Go high. try to avoid that. All right. Well, I don't know if that was for another position or not. We'll see. I don't think it was. I'm on the 17th. They're still 10 seconds behind us. Let's try to keep them there. The car behind you, Pity. This point, last car in the lead lap, and they really did wreck themselves up pretty good there. Still hanging about 10 seconds off the tail there. With about 16 left, 17 laps to go here. 16 we can cross the line. Yeah, we need to reconfigure buttons for this guy because something's funky's gone. I heard Matt Malone say it the other day, I think other sims do it, but what iRacing needs is profiles. So you can set like up to like four or five profiles for like your wheels. And you just go to a car and say, okay, I want you to use profile one. And it maps everything for you. Or like you have an oval profile and you set it to a certain wheel or something like that. It can be kind of difficult because, I mean, you can't set an oval to all cars. Because like NASCAR, like these cars here, no uh, uh, pit limiters, for example. But then you go to an IndyCar, car, it's got a pit limiter, it's got push to pass and all that shit, right? So and then you got track bar adjustments and all that shit. So, eh weight jackers so maybe you know but it'd be nice if you get a little closer in or if you take classic cars that all had the same thing and you could put it in their profile that way like you know gt3s can all part of the gt3 profile set the gt3 profile and you're good to go something like that right formula cars up to a certain type because like what all the upper formula cars have some form of push to pass 
you know, deployments, we have actual push to pass, we've got an IndyCar and both Super Formula. So it'd be nice to have something else besides just like, oh, custom controls. Because it seems like the custom controls this is, is not working well today. Yeah. I mean, it's a first world problem. I guess there's some other th things I'd rather see them do first, right? Like maybe update. I think there's some stuff coming though. They, they're going to update the UI, which would be interesting. Um, I wonder what that is. If they're going to have something that's fresh or something that's caught up to like five years ago, because this is 12 years ago or whatever. More than that. The push to pass is nuts. It is nuts in that thing. It's cool you get the green light so you can see who's on it and all that good stuff. Let's be real though, the SF23 is just crazy. It's a fun car, but my god, when you get out of there, your brain is fried, your arms hurt, you're just like, what the hell's gone on for the last 20 minutes in this thing? I know your uh, adult racing league is doing that. And I'm just, I looked at it and I was like, do I want to do that? Do I want to spend my Sunday suffering in that damn thing? And I'm like, mm. and then you guys are like, oh, we're going to Long Beach. And I was like, you know what? Fuck all that. Cause uh, Long Beach and anything kind of sucks. It's a fun car though. Does that league have like healing damage or, or is it uh, you fuck up, you go to the pits? definitely feel the tires we got 10 laps keep it clean leaders are still back there some 10 seconds behind so we're clear of them car is getting a little loose now make sure we're being safe here one fast repair no healing down okay so you got to really keep your shit clean in the opening way around everybody Ooh, that's a tough one man how many people you guys got showing up right now This dude's drop. Kind of don't want to be here though. We'll give him space. This is an SR race. I don't want to push him into mistake. Like, see the guy in front of that? I don't know if he caught that, but he just came down off the wall. Really don't want to be collecting any of that. Six to ten. Okay. Now, how many people are in that league that are not in ZFG? <laughs> I guess maybe who all raced us? I know when you guys did the F4, you had Jason and Bob and Bob, the bookend Bobs, Coach Bob and Bob Keating that we have now. Okay. Which Bob, though? Oh, Ed quit, you said. Okay. Uh, for the SF23, that's not really his bag. I'm gonna tell you right now, he doesn't like that car. Well, at least I expect it because it's there's a lot. It's a lot closer to the Formula One car than it is an F4. He likes the slower ones, F4 and F3, and anything where like first gear is not usable, it's not really his forte. I understand. I think Christian, Spaceship Christian, is gonna try to come out and do some. And then he's a decimator in downforce cars or almost anything he gets behind, but downforce cars, he's really fast. Let's see, we got, this isn't for position, is it? Just wanna avoid this guy if we can. Got about five laps to go here. Yeah, he's 17th. No thanks. Five laps to go. Oh, and he just tagged the fucking wall. Get away. No, no, no. 
Stay down here. Let's get away from this guy. Come on. Let's go. Hook tires. There we go. All right. We got away from him. Let him do his thing back there. You're good, Leonel. You stay right there, though. Yeah, I think from an oval layout, I'll move the chat to the left and I'll put my relatives where my track map is because you don't really need a track map for oval racing. <laughs> or I'll move it, the track map off to the side. So if I need to see a reference for like a safety car or something later on, maybe I'll look at Five that. But 13, you really, wall, I don't think it does anything for the stream to have a track map there for oh, oval racing. I don't know. Oh, he had a baby. That messes everything up. <laughs> I had one of those. Free time's all gone. I'm probably going to have a second one of those, so then all my free time and money will be gone. That's so why I'm trying to get the brig done now, because when the second baby gets here, nope. And then by the time I'll have money again, the kid will want to be getting in a rig of his own, and I'd rather spend on, money man. on a rig for him. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. I don't know why he tried that. You're losing on the car in front. All right, that's fine. Oh, uh, this guy's closing in fast. Hopefully he knows that I just slowed up for that shit. All right, I think we're back at speed now just about, so we shouldn't worry about him too much. <laughs> right? Like, where is he going? All right, it's left again. All right, it's left again. I mean, the only thing you'd use it for is just like, what, where are you at and compare it to the leaders, but honestly, I'm just thinking about when I watch chats, I don't ever look at that for oval racing because you're only worried about what's directly in front, right? It's like, oh, who are they racing? Can they get by? And the relative kind of shows you if they're anywhere near the leader. So, and then of course you have the standings to show how far away they are. So yeah, I think I'll create just an old, actually I'll just create one layout for uh, road racing and one layout for oval. So depending on the series that I'm in, that's what populates. So that guy got dumped. We got a freebie, man. We got a top 10 out of this. So we might actually do okay on the IR and the SR. Nice quiet race. Good job, guys. There we go. That's right. So that was a nice SR grab there. All right. We avoided that early shit, man. That was, that was some sketchy stuff. That's the flag. It's over. I mean, look at this mess that I'm just missing. Oh, I got tagged. Oh, oh, oh. And yeah, I'm gonna lock it. <laughs> missed that one. Missed that one. Woo. <laughs> Oh man, that was so sketchy. Let's do a. Uh... Let's see here. All right. So what did happen up there? Oh my gosh, they just had a whole bunch of shit going on, huh? That dude's slide up there. Oh, he gets hit. And that just starts it off. He took the guy on the outside. Those two stack up. He gets, oh, punted. <laughs> just drives underneath him. He's got the car on top of his car now. Sends that dude into a wall. He goes, oh, my God. He just got ejected inside. <laughs> and then look at this guy. Look at 20. Just like, yeah, I'm just going to I'm gonna pin it, baby. And I'm just going to hold it down there. Oh, and the number the white car hits him, and then of course, look at red, just sets him up perfectly. Just hits this dude like a full freaking speed, man. Launches him into the air. Dude, five was getting rocked through that race. And I was like, right here, I thought I was gonna die. Cause I'm like, nowhere to go down below. And the guy up top was slides, oh crap, then to drop off. 20 was spinning around, and I thought, oh man, I'd be dead again. And luckily, just like they were holding their brakes, and I'm able to get through that mess. Oh boy. Where are we at? But see, that's what I'm talking about. How did I get 0.58 in the last one? It was the same race, right? And then it was, um, man, look at this 0.15. Is that 0x count against me or something? But look, how are you going to run 40 laps clean and get 0.15 is all you get? And then you get minus. Something is wrong with. 
i racing. Like, how many races do you think I'm gonna do? Like 0.15 at a time. It's like, is it? Do you get like a, a bigger jump if you do the race? It's the first time you've done the race. That's ridiculous. Like, hold on, let's go back. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the results. I'm gonna take this shit to Reddit or something. So here's Arca, right? Start 14th, finish 14th, 0x, 32 points. But if we look at the results here, look at the SR. 0.58 gain, right? We come back. Is it more just because it was like a lower strength of field? Does that, does lower, does strength of field affect your SR? You come over here and all of a sudden it's 0.15. Make the field 1252. And what was the other one? 1380. It's so like a 110. So that makes no sense, dude. Like 120 something difference and strength the field. And it can't be a 0.58 and a 0.15. I, that just doesn't get. And it's like, that's kind of why I was like stuck at like trying to get safety rating. I don't know if you're below three, maybe it gives you the bigger jump. So, you, oh, you know what? I think there's something to that too. Now that I think about it, I think there is a bigger jump to get you over the three and then you slightly gain on the way to four. So I don't know. I'm not going to do that many races. I think we have what, five weeks left in the season. I'd rather just let it finish out, keep my SR where it is, and then just do the league stuff, if anything, and not come back and just try to do... How many of these is this going to take if I'm getting 0.15 now? Right? It's going to take me like three and a half to four, no, four and a half races to get there or something like that. If it's the same amount. And I got to do 40 laps. Oh, maybe. 